Today, we're exposing the truth behind famous LA influencers, a bunch of clowns or actually hardworking people. Is it hard to become an influencer? Do they deserve awards? I am going to get beyond canceled for this video, but I have a big mouth and I'm gonna run it. As you guys know, I've literally always prioritized you guys, the walnutters, over literally anything else in my life. I have exposed celebrity diets. I have talked shit about people's OnlyFans. I have literally gotten myself kicked out of brand deals because I've told you the truth about brands. So you don't think I'm gonna run my mouth right now? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm literally gonna sit here and roast everything about LA, so you better call 911. There was a homicide. So I just flew to LA from Miami. I had a horrible, terrible, awful flight. Um, but LA is really pretty. It's prettier than you think in some areas, um, but it's worse than you think in some other areas. And we're gonna talk about that. I flew here, I went to Kira's house. I dragged Kira and Mia out to lunch, you know, your local one that are, and then I made them take this photo on the kitchen that absolutely flopped for all three of us. Why? Well, let me tell you my first opinions about LA. Number one, there's a shit ton of influencers here. Literally every time you walk outside, somebody is filming something. I'm not going to expose anyone or think it's embarrassing or say influencers in the wild because at the end of the day, I love to watch this content, so why would I make fun of someone making that content on the street? That's why I don't like that account. Fuck you influencers in the wild. Are you not entertained? <laughs> So I've been in LA for about 48 hours now. Um, I've met up with uh, 5 million influencers, so I'm just going to sit here, name drop, and talk shit about them. I don't know, I was bored. Let's stir up some drama. <laughs> First of all, everyone is a lot nicer than you think they're gonna be. Low key, when I was making videos in my room alone, like two years ago, um, I was very afraid of the LA people. For some reason, just the word LA induced some kind of panic reaction within me because I was like, oh, I'm not good enough, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not famous enough, whatever, no. First of all, I realize that most people don't really give a shit about numbers. As long as you're like in the general vicinity and you're a nice person, they're gonna be nice to you. I went out to lunch with like 10 million people. Nobody says like, oh, you have 5 million people. No, we don't, no! You're just a friend of a friend of a friend and if you wanna make something cool and fun together, that's awesome. A funny thing that happened to me actually is I was at Poppy, which is like a nightclub kind of thing here. It's it's weird in there. I think I was like at a throw down, show down, hoe down kind of night. Um, it was like cowboys. But I saw this guy that I saw on TikTok. I don't know his name. I didn't know his name, but I walked up to him and I was like, hello, sir, I have seen you on TikTok. You know that guy on TikTok who makes like frat boy videos? Literally the perfect identity for him. So funny in real life. He was shooting a YouTube video kind of in the club. I don't think he's gonna post it because the lighting and the audio in there is literally so bad. I don't know what his plan was, but basically he was shooting a video and he's like, come be in my video. Like you just have to reject me. And I was like, sick. So. That was fun. I mean, I reject men daily anyway, so it's not like it was out of character. It's just a lot easier to film content with other YouTubers if you live in LA. However, you don't really need to live in LA to grow any of your social media. Nobody will tell you that. You think you have to do all these collabs. No, you don't. I honestly think that collabing was like a 2012, 2015 way to get ahead. Now it's all about the algorithm because I've done, I don't know, I post with Kira, Mia, this person, that person, that person. Nobody really grows. Our audiences, I don't know if you guys just don't like each other. What the frick is going on? Um, another thing I'll tell you about LA is there's methods to the madness that I was unaware of. So last night I actually two-timed three men. I don't know how I did it. Basically, we were outside of a club and we're trying to get in. So I texted three promoters to walk me in or whatever, because apparently you have to do that. I don't know why. Why can't I just walk in by myself anyway? Texted three promoters to walk me in, go to the promoter table or whatever. Ew, gag. But I'm kidding, I love you guys. But apparently, you can't text three of them and have them all walk you in. Like you have to pick one and then you're in trouble with the other one. That's how it is. So tip from Walnut, don't two time the promoters. I had a fun time. I'm a two-time you again. Whoever shows up first gets to walk me in. That's what I think. <laughs> Another thing is a lot of the content you guys see is pre-planned. A lot of the drama is planned and a lot of the relationships are faked. I found out some tea. Basically, like a lot of people that are dating each other or like have a family, that's not real. Like they're just doing it for the camera. They're like characters. Like, you know, I'm sometimes a character and I troll and joke. It's like that times a million. Like some of the biggest families on YouTube are not even families. 
we're just friends, business partners. But I will tell you that it seems like everybody works really hard. It's easier for me to film content here because it seems like everybody's pretty much filming all day. The only thing is you get really busy wrapped in to going to these events and hanging out with these the influencers and people that it doesn't leave a lot of time for editing. Um, a lot of people don't edit their own shit. I am the master editor. Like I'm the world's best editor. I'm kidding, but it's hard for me to let someone else edit my videos because I am a comedic genius. Um, they have a lot of events here that they invite influencers to that makes me want to live in LA. Like they invite you to come see the showroom and try on the makeup and the clothes and like they do IV drips and tanning stuff all to promote their companies um, and all that stuff is free and they give it away for free. Speaking of free, Influencers get a lot of stuff for free. As soon as you bring up the fact that you have a following, you can get free hair, free makeup, free clothes, free shoes, free bags, free underwear. New, not used, don't worry, it's fresh. Um, but it is interesting because influencers all have a different way of making money and like running their businesses and each one is unique. So as you guys know, I do YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, brand deals, affiliate links, but some people also do like OnlyFans, they sell eBooks with recipes, they have courses, they have workout courses, they have like hair lines, merch lines, jewelry lines. I'm talking about myself, buy my jewelry, okay? It's really cute, it's with Enru. And I'm currently working on the spring jewelry collection, which should be out soon. You're absolutely gonna be floored. This collection, like if the other collection was a 10 out of 10, this one is a 100 out of 10. Trust me on this, it's so on trend. It like. I made the trend. I'm kidding. <laughs> I sound like I have a big head in this video, but I'm just being sarcastic, okay? Um, everyone runs their stuff in different ways and everyone makes a different amount of money. So it's interesting to see like and get ideas from other influencers. That's why I like hanging out with them because everyone has like tips and tricks. And you know what I realized? They share tips and tricks. I haven't met that many people that like if you ask a question, they'll like hide it from you or they'll gaslight you or they'll just like not want you to know because they see you as a competition. So far, if I've had a question, I've asked them. They've literally helped me. Like I was talking about how I have like 1.3 million followers on TikTok and almost a million on YouTube. Subscribe, by the way, or else. Um, but I only have 160 something thousand on Instagram. And they're like, you should be posting Instagram why aren't you posting reels? Post on Instagram every single day. Post a reel that you already made. And I was like, you know what? You're right. I should be doing that. I don't know why I'm not doing that. Thank you for the help. Like, I should... Hello? Um, so I found them really nice and helpful. And honestly, I really like it. And I'm, they're really nice people. What else can I tell you guys? Oh, yeah. There is a part of LA, though, that I don't even know if I should be talking about. Because I feel like it's taboo. And I'm too sarcastic and kidding. And in a place of privilege to be talking about this, but I feel like I should bring it up because LA is really expensive. It's not a place where everything is just easy and cheap and free and everyone makes a shit ton of money and it's about the stars and the famous people and like a lot of bad stuff goes on behind the scenes. Most of the stuff I'm not gonna mention, I am gonna mention that I follow this Instagram account that kind of shows a lot of the homelessness and drug addictions in LA and how it's affecting those people and the city and it's definitely like a mental health issue, a drug addiction issue, a housing issue and I feel like it's sad to me to watch like really nice cars like Rolls Royces drive by places with like tents where people are living on no money. Like it's very perplexing and their juxtaposition is kind of stark. Obviously there's homeless people in every country, but here it seems like there's a lot more of them. Um, and I wish they would do something to help them. That's all I'm gonna say about that. I'm not a politician. I can't even spell politics. What other secrets can I tell you guys? Hmm. Oh, I have another conspiracy theory, but you can't tell anyone. Um. You don't want to know what's weird. A lot of the famous people here are actually nepotism babies, which I find interesting. I feel like a lot of stuff is built on connections and that's why people move to LA because who you know is vastly more important than how talented you are and what you can do. Unfortunately, I wish it was all based on talent because I'm extremely talented. Um, <laughs> but it seems like all the famous people are like nepotism babies. And also they throw events. Obviously I'm not gonna be invited because I have actively exposed the plastic surgery of like Kylie Jenner. There was like a Kim Kardashian event. I wouldn't even dare to step foot in there. Like my influencer friends were invited. Would I be allowed in there? I don't know. 
did I say that Kylie Swim sucks? I may or may not have said that. Um, <laughs> so I just feel like a lot of people are forced to keep their mouth shut and not tell you guys the truth about brands, companies, like what their real opinions because they're afraid of not getting invited to these events. It's kind of like a weird hierarchy of keeping your mouth shut and staying on the good side of important people so that you are invited and included and all this stuff. And I just feel like that's annoying because you guys are important to me and my audience is important. And I want to tell you if a product is good or not. I want to tell you the truth. I want to tell you if a lip kit won't give you free lip filler. And unfortunately, if you do that, you're on the outs. I don't really love that. As you guys know, I've gotten lip filler a couple times. Um, last time I went drastically horrible. But what's weird about my lip filler actually, I haven't gotten lip filler in almost two years. It's still here. How did that happen? I have no idea. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's all I have to say about LA. A live, laugh, love. And if you guys want me to expose any more places, let me know. Because I will run my mouth till the end of time. <laughs> I love you guys a lot. And I'll see you next week with two new diet videos. Because I'm getting back into diet and fitness. And by diet, I don't mean restricting myself. I just mean eating healthier. And showing you guys what I eat. Um, because I'm in a good place now, finally. I hope you can tell. <laughs> okay, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, apparently. Because nobody loves me there. TikTok. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!